What's up guys? Mark here. Today it's April 30th, 2022. It's still spring. Here in Atlanta, Georgia, the weather's been pretty nice. So I'm gonna head to the Korean supermarket and see if I can find a fresh fish. The Asian supermarkets tend to have the best selections of fish. So yeah, I'm gonna head there and see if I can find a fresh fish to chef up for y'all today. All right, see y'all there. Yeah, one frozen one. Frozen one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one? Oh. Yeah, that one. Oh, water. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Today's ingredients are Yellowtail Alright, let's go Alright, today this is what we're cooking Yellowtail fish And then a block of yellowtail sashimi So yep, these are both the same fish In Japanese it's called hamachi So this is a pretty popular fish in the sushi world For those of y'all who like sushi, you've probably heard of it it's popularly served as nigiri, like fish over rice, and sashimi without the rice. And it's also popularly served in rolls. So this fish is wild caught off the coast of Korea, shipped here to the US frozen. I had to let it thaw for a bit. And this one you can't eat raw. This sashimi block is farm raised, and this one you can eat raw. Most of the yellowtail sushi in the US uses farm raised yellowtail, just like this piece right here. Now you can eat wild caught, yellow tail as well but it has to be fresh and this one's fresh but it's not fresh enough for sushi like there's other videos on youtube where people will go fishing catch a yellow tail and eat it raw on the boat all right you had a machi before right you like it yeah yeah okay i know sushi chef but this is probably gonna be good a little soy sauce i mean How's the texture? Does it taste like sushi? You just had hamachi yesterday too. No, it tastes very similar. Yeah? Super firm. Super firm? Good, that's how I like it. It's not fishy at all. Super subtle flavor. This is as fresh as you can get, huh? But yeah, today's sushi will be farm-raised yellowtail. Farm-raised yellowtail tends to be a little bit fattier since it's it doesn't do as much moving around as the wild yellowtail. But yeah, so they're either wild-caught or farm-raised. Let's measure it, see how big it is. It's about 19 and a half inches. Pretty big fish. So today with this yellowtail fish, I'm gonna make grilled yellowtail. Probably grill the collar as well, make hamachikama, like grilled yellowtail collar. And then with the sashimi block, I'm gonna make yellowtail nigiri. And maybe some sashimi as well. All right, but first let's clean the fish. All right, first we're gonna take the scales off. They got some pretty small scales, you'll see. 
Yeah, these are the scales, pretty tiny. Okay, next, we're gonna take the guts out. You're gonna come from this hole right here and go all the way up, but just be careful not to go too deep. Open. All right, so you're gonna take the gills right here Rip them, pull like that, and then just pull everything, and all the guts should come out with it. It's the heart right here. This is the stomach right here. Let's see what this yellow tail was eating. Oh, it's empty. All right, throw the guts away. And then you also wanna take your knife and go like this. There's a little bit more blood in there and that'll help get the rest of it out. And then use your finger, go back and forth. All right, inside's nice and clean now. Just make sure to dry it off before you fillet so you have less problems with the knife slipping. All right, we can finally fillet. So first we're gonna take the collar and the head off. So you're gonna come behind the collar. So the collar comes from this fin and this fin, like up to the head. Just come behind them at an angle. And then go all the way till you reach the bone. And you're gonna flip it, do the same thing on this side. And then when you reach the bone, you're just gonna go right through it. All right, got the collar and the head. This meat looks really good. Good yellow tail. All right, I think I'm gonna use one of these collars and grill it and then use the head in another video, maybe for like soup or something. All right, you're gonna flip it. All right, first we're gonna come on the back right here and just make a shallow cut all the way down. A little shallow cut and then you're gonna go a little bit deeper all right then you're gonna flip come from the belly right here a little shallow cut and a little deeper then you're gonna come go like this and you're gonna come up and then just cut through the ribs All right, first fillet. And then you're gonna flip it, do the same thing, come from the back, shallow cut. Nice, a little wet. A little deeper. And you're gonna flip from the belly. All the way down. Come up. Then just cut through the ribs. Second fillet. All right, cut this one in half. I'm gonna eat this one too. There's some meat left over in here. Maybe for another video. And right, now we're gonna take the ribs off. The ribs go over the belly. 
and come from behind them and stay really close to them so you can save a lot of this belly meat. The belly meat's really good. Throw this one away. All right, the other side. Kind of see, took them off a little bit already. I'm gonna come from behind them. Stay really close. All right, let's clean the rest up. All right, next there's a layer of pin bones going up the fillet in the middle right here. So we're gonna take a pair of tweezers and pick them out. First one's right here. It's pin bones. So in the other video, I filleted a carp oh! and the carp have bones going down here and down here. But most fish actually just have pin bones going down the middle like this one, after you take the ribs out. So they're in there pretty good sometimes. Oh. Alright, this one's good. Alright, get this first one that comes right here. The biggest one. Alright. Now you got two fillets of carp, or <laughs> now you got two fillets of, of yellowtail. It does look kind of similar to that carp meat I filleted, like kind of red. But yeah, now I'm gonna cut them into steaks. I'm also gonna use one of these collars right here. I'm gonna cut it off. All right. Okay, next we're gonna start on the sushi. Oh! But first we're gonna make the rice. towel over it. Let it cool down. All right, I'll spend 10 minutes to make the nigiri. Cut it open. Pretty good looking piece, bill tail. All right, I'm not a sushi chef, but I'm just gonna cut it. Cut the first piece like this. Wet your hands. Take some rice. Make it into a bowl. Fillet 
this. Piece. Come from this way. All right, the rest I'm gonna do sashimi, no rice.刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。刺身。
Okay. Let's eat. Oh! Looks pretty good. All right, first, let's try a piece of this yellowtail sashimi. A little soy sauce. Wasabi. I'm excited. All right, yellowtail. delicious that is good it's a very fatty fish so if you like fat you'd like it it's, it's similar to salmon so if you like salmon you'd probably like salmon sashimi salmon sushi you'd probably like yellowtail as well all right let's try nigiri Pretty good. Mm. Yeah, the sashimi and the nigiri are a hit. All right, now let's try some of this wild caught grilled yellowtail. Try a piece right here, this belly. So good. Yeah, grilled yellowtail is one of my favorite fish to grill. Skin's nice and crispy. Mmm. Ain't nothing like grilled fish. All right, now let's try some of this collar. All right, this one. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yellowtail is one of the best fish. I'm telling you. It does, it tastes pretty similar to, uh, what is it called? The jackfish. I'm pretty sure yellowtail are in the jack family. Amberjack, you know, tastes similar to a jackfish. It's really good. Alright. Alright guys, it's time for me to present my drink. Ding. Crystal Geyser. <sighs> so good. Reminded me a lot of the salmon in taste, but it still had its own thing going on. It's an oily fish for sure. So if y'all like oily fish, I would recommend trying it out. Wild caught or farm raised, they're both really good. Sashimi or grilled. Cook it whichever way. That's probably really good in the soup as well. Yeah, don't be afraid to get creative with it because that's what makes cooking fun. And that silver carp video got a, a big, a lot of people have seen it. And a lot of like comments now and all that. So I appreciate the comments. I had a fun time making that video. Also, I got some merch now, like some cups, some mugs, and some shirts. So yeah, check that out, link in the description. Thanks for watching to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.